Hey, what's going on, guys? This is the guy. I know it's Thursday, June 14, 2018. I'm here with the Armageddon right here. Yep. What's up, man? How you doing? Not too bad. Glad to be here, man. It's awesome, man. It's been a while since we've done this. You know, this is it's great for us to get back together and like link up again. Yeah, that's nice. awesome. You know, it's gonna be a great show. We got a lot, a lot in store for you guys. Hopefully, you know, we're gonna run through some stuff, and you know, we're gonna hopefully uh, give you guys a great show. And uh, let's not forget <laughs> our other co-host. MCF, what's up, my poor devils? How you doing tonight? All right, so uh, I have a serious question for you guys. But if, you, if you guys were president, how would you guys deal with illegal immigration? Like, what ideas do you have that are better or more effective than a wall? I'd have uh, prison workers dig out, like, a, a big trench. Like my borderline of my country. Wait, no, no. I would just, I, w I wouldn't let them in. <laughs> but no, like, I would let them in. How, how would you deal with like? But what immigrants though? The immigrants from from overseas are immigrants that are right here, like See, on our home soil. That's the problem. He's segregating a certain type of immigrant, which is kind of weird. Like I can see like the racist aspect from that. Like if you're gonna build a wall, like for Mexico, then you build a better build a wall for the ocean too, for like all the people from like Syria and all that shit. Yeah. You know, like be equal with it. What about you, MCF? Like, how would you deal with it? <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? What'd you say? How would you deal with legal immigration? Like, what tactics would you take to make it stop or to to make them uh, not come in? So yeah. Much? Or what, what do you mean? Mexico? Like, I don't know. That's a hard one. <laughs> it's so it's so we weird. I don't know. Like, I think people should just auto like should have the opportunity to earn their way in to the country. And not automatically just be uh, like uh, blackballed or just like uh, that's already a thing, though, isn't it? Yeah, a background yeah, it's, check, it's, it's cast aside. Yeah. I kind of see it as like pesticide? just because. Yeah, I mean, what you're saying that they do have the opportunity. Yeah, they gotta take some test or something, don't they? Or they gotta if if they manage to get in the country, yeah, and I think be here for like a certain amount of time. Um, but I think like if you're already in a different country and then you're trying to get over here to America and you, and you want citizenship and you want the whole American dream, I think that's like a whole long process. Uh, and like not not everyone, and it's not available to everyone. And if it is, it costs you thousands of dollars, which you can't even make in that country. Like you, there's no living you can do besides like the typical shit that is like criminal. Corn man, tacos, no, a doggo, Well, <laughs> let me give you like some perspective on it, I guess. Say you own a four acre lot, okay? <laughs> Got that thing. And you're, <laughs> oh, I forgot that was there. My halo. And um, you were your own country, okay? And it was just you and say six other people with you. Yeah. In your country. But like, there was opportunity there for you guys because it was just like you guys were taken care of, you know? And you had people that are outside the four acres that are trying to come in and live live here illegally. Even like, you know, you sympathize with them because there's better opportunity for them here, but they didn't do it the right way. They didn't they didn't come the right way. So now it's like putting a burden on you. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how would you deal with those people? Like, getting them I, off your four acre lot. I think the only way I'd be fine with like immigrants coming into the country is if there's like a storm that's like closing in. Like this like storm Fortnite? that's making the yeah the like, circle smaller, are you, are you talking about Fortnite? and they're trying to escape the the storm because it's like trying to kill them. That I, would, I would let them come in for a moment, but then I would kill them once they're like. like you become Thanos. <laughs> once they're you become Thanos, right? <laughs> yeah. No, um, dude, I'm just more concerned about people not coming into my house. <laughs> well, that's, that's basically like how you like that's basically how like I see it. Like, the USA is my house, and I don't want people coming to my house. I See, I don't think of it that way for the fact that I've never been to any other part of the of the United States besides California. I've never been to any other country, so I don't know what they're dealing with. I don't know if it's bad in certain areas, if, like, there's, like, um, like hot zones of illegal immigration being, like, a contribution to, like, the criminal... Would you let the West like, Side people life? come to your... Uh east side north your northeast side four acre lot would you you know the situation over there but would you still let people come <laughs> flock over here absolutely you wouldn't 
See the thing you is, wouldn't. the thing is with the West Side, like <laughs> I have like all matter. these uh, like misconce like I guess generalizations and like ideas that I've carried with me like from years past of me living over there. I've never, I haven't been there years. The last time I went over there it was just to grab a pizza and like everyone seemed fine, like they were going about their business. I, I think know. it's just, I think when it, when it comes to um, being outside at night in any part of the city, it's it's dangerous. Honestly, I, I anywhere. I disagree. The nighttime, I felt safer than the daytime. I worked over there, and it was terrible. I have family that works over there, and it's terrible. I walked the neighborhood over there, and I almost got shot. It's like. It's retarded over there, man. I've been to the Little Caesars over there on C Street. But you get that here, too, where we live. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, but you, it's, at a, it's at a different level. It's like... But those are instances. I don't think that's, that's like... A no, that's like, that's like an everyday norm thing. Like, just ask the people that work over there every day. They'll tell you. Four out of five, six, seven days, there's always something going on. Yeah. But, you, but so, you, you have to... It's so... Uh, it's not as spread out. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> the area is much smaller, so there's... There's more likely to be things popping off more often because there's no space. That's true, but then you also have to think if, if a place is uh, is heavily policed, it, it's going to be a natural tendency to catch more people com committing crimes. Whereas over here, I'm pretty sure there's just as crimes being committed, but that are going like unnoticed and they're not being policed. So therefore, it's not being documented. It's not being reported in the news. So... I mean, you, you have to crime, look at both. The crime, like the crimes aren't as retarded. I, th I think the I think they're retarded everywhere. To be honest, I think they're it's just. I will say this though. But I would say if there's any place that's better than the east side and the, and the west side, it would have to be the north side. You know what? It has to be Clovis. You know what I find funny? A lot of like gang members, they like they kill people for coming on their side of the wall or their street, but they hate Trump for wanting to build a wall and deport people. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? We're human. But, like, they'll go yeah, and they kill have each other. Yeah, they have their walls, too. They'll go and kill each other for, like, some stupid-ass thing. I think that's probably one of the dumbest arguments I've ever heard, like, by... Yeah, but those people are know, irrelevant. But you those, get those people, saying, right? those, those people don't contribute to change, and they, they have no momentum behind, like, anything they do. But they still vote, don't they? Yeah. I doubt it. Actually. Yeah, yeah gangbangers? Do. I don't think do. so. Fuck no. It's not... Because no. I don't even vote. The... the, the yeah. They, they, they vote, I mean, just because they're gang members. If they're members, anywhere near, like, fucking in voting England. centers, it's because they know there's a parking lot full of cars that they can break into. <laughs> or loot. Loot the shit. They only vote like, for more food stamps. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what else? I, just, I mean, I just wanted to get you guys' take on that. Um, my, my solution would just to be a... Uh, get all the prison inmates to dig a big-ass trench. And, oh, wait, never mind. We should just let the hot. We should <laughs> just let the hot people in, the hot, hot girls. Yeah, but that's it. Like the like, we're in like a cool club, and we're the we're the bouncers letting in only hot. Yeah, people. there you go. Keep exactly the same. That same exact scenario. <laughs> the bouncer with the clipboard. That's America, and we're letting in the hot chicks with the fucking. Show me your Mexican one in skirts. Titties and your burritos. Show me your titties. I want to see them. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm joking around. Like all jokes aside, like you're not joking. I don't know, I mean, I feel like everyone should be welcome here as long as everyone does their part. I mean, you know, it's like, why not? This isn't even, this isn't, this isn't even like, really, it's not even supposed to be America, the USA. It's still supposed to be ran by the natives and the Mexicans. So, who are we to say who can and can't come? Yeah, that's, you know? yeah, that's always the biggest As argument. long as, I don't care, like, what race or what color you are. I mean, as long as you help take care of the land... And like, uh, <laughs> like you know, you you help help contribute something to mind your own business. Like, oh, Midori has something on the tip of his tongue right now. Look at him. Hey, can we not build? Can Native American? Are they the only ones that can uh, build uh, casinos? Mm -hmm. Yep. Fucking piece of shit. Mm -hmm. Fucking hate you, fags. Yeah. Why can't we do that? We have uh, Native blood in us, so we could do it. Um, how native are you, man? Fucking stupid! It's not. It's not like you said negative. Um, I'm like, yeah, there is. Is there like a an Indian Las Vegas? Because you know Las Vegas is like it's the capital of gambling and fucking and yeah hookers and like it's well it's the city of sin but is there like the Indian version of it? Oh, that's not you know, run like, by Indian people. No. So it's regulated by America. So we can build 
We can do casino. Like, but me and you, we couldn't open up a casino, huh? If we had the money, if we had banking behind, and we had like funding. That has to be the. It would be so much harder for us to do it than it would be for Indians who can do it like on private, like um. Reservations. Yeah, private reservations. Fucking dumb. Cause I look at billboards and I see them. I pass by them. It's like good uh, Tachi Palace or whatever. Uh, I'm like, man, I can't believe people actually go and throw away their money. Like that's gotta be. Like, how is that a thing? How is it a thing to go? Like, if I told you, Josh, hey, man, I want to play a game, you know, the probability of you winning, like, I'm going to win, but just give me five bucks and try your luck. Would you Would you play that game with me? Probably. <laughs> not even listening. Who you See, talking? a normal Are same you? person who, who, would, would say Josh? no. Who's Josh? I don't think there's anyone named here. Uh, name. What the fuck's your name again? Rhino Brighter? <laughs> <Rhino Rider. laughs> hey guys, it's the Rhino guy here. And uh, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't agree with the, the whole thing of casinos. It's like, it's stupid, but you know, uh, if it's gonna make you money, then you're just mad because you can't open your own casino. You're just jealous. Well, listen, you're I fucking hate Indians because they're fucking You're an ignorant red. bigot. You can't open your own casino, so you're gonna judge people that go to play the casino? Yeah, go get a fucking crime. To, maybe they're trying to change their life around, man. It's okay. no different than playing the lottery. It's no different than uh, saying, okay, I'm just gonna bet on this race right here. Eternal. And if I if I win this race, then you're gonna buy me lunch. And if I lose, I'm gonna buy you guys lunch. Yeah, but I'm gonna cry about white people taking my land, but then I rape people on a daily basis with my casino. I take all their money. Hey, hey. <laughs> They raped us and took the land, so think about that. Yeah, but who's raping who now? The white man's still raping us. They still, they put jurisdictions on who can own a casino, man. Yeah, and you guys are the only ones that can own a casino. But that's, that, that's not my that's problem. A, that's a monopoly. See, that's the thing. <laughs> yo, yo, let this happen. Hey, yo, that's a monopoly. Yo, let this happen. The higher pitch I got, the more serious I get. Listen, Darnell, you fucking dumb, dude. You're not Indian like me. Hey, motherfucker, fuck you. I'm not black. I'm Indian, too. I'm native. I'm not Darnell. I'm Darleaf. Nigga, just because you eat corn all day, you fucking fart corn does me, Indian. Hey, fuck you. I skinned the cow. Just because your skin looks like close. tobacco. Just because your skin looks like beef jerky don't make you uh, <laughs> an Indian. Just because I smile, you're... <laughs> what the fuck? Your, you, you your skin base skin. correct or what? <laughs> like beef jerky? You skin. Isn't that they look like you they have beef jerky? Uh, you know, you're just talking shit because you can jump high but you can't make a lot of money. their fingers look like cigars. <laughs> See, the thing is, the thing is, you're jealous of us because you think we're raping you guys. Why are you guys, you guys have a monopoly on basketball, man. That's black people, nigga, homie. <laughs> you real <laughs> black, ain't you? Uh, nah, I just find it funny that they crying uh, like, oh, you guys raped us. Like that's all they say. Well, on Buzzfeed, I'm judging everything off Buzzfeed videos. They're like, you raped this. This is our land. But then like they actively fucking they actively fuck us mm -hmm. by like taking. Come on, they're robbing you if you go to the casino. Yeah, unless you're are. good, unless you know how to count cards. Or you're just really good at blackjack or something. It's impossible. And then yeah, um, they're raping you. I heard that when you do good, like when you actually have like a high winning like um, <laughs> streak, or, or you're you're known to be like a, a a good player in Las Vegas, they'll blackball you. They, yeah, they, they kick they, you out. Yeah, they'll kick you out, bro. They ban so that's you. Literally, that literally tells you that uh, their whole intention and what they really want you to do is lose. Yeah, that's what they want you to do is lose in the first place. Because they want money. Yeah. Dude, that's so retarded. And man, I don't know. And don't they offer like the liquor dirt cheap there? Like, isn't it set up to the point where it's, it's free? Like, I think. It's, yeah, isn't think it free? Yeah. yeah. People come around and it around. So you can spend Damn. money. So you can feel like a roller. Yeah, that's fucking perfect. But I'm not one to talk because you know what? Like, we could go to an arcade and we just spend money on video games. And we don't. We have no potential to win anything except tickets to buy exactly. an eraser. We're talking to people something. that uh, spend sixty to a hundred dollars on a video game that has no point. There's no. There, yeah, not, you, you can't have, win. There's absolutely nothing you can win. It's, except entertainment. Wait, what, what if you? Wait, what are you talking about? Arcade games? Or are you talking about actual video games that you play on your Both. console or PC? Both. Both. But there's no cheating involved in that unless it's like actual hackers or whatever. No, we're saying with. that. That's not gambling. At least gambling, you have a chance of winning, but if you go like an old nickel arcade, yeah, you just lose your money. 
Oh, yeah. But that's entertainment. But no one's taking that real serious. Like, oh, my God. Can you, believe, can you believe how many people are going to owe on Nick Arcade and they're losing Spending all their Spending, like, hundreds, losing all hundreds of dollars. <laughs> <I do. laughs> like, you don't hear somebody, man, I went to Nickel Arcade yesterday. I lost $400. That's what my parents Nick did. Nickel Arcade has all the nickels in the city, and they're charging. They're, they're selling them for fucking a dollar a piece for a nickel. <laughs> yeah. My parents would be like, yeah, we lost 500 And I'm like, oh, my f- you guys are retarded. Like, I don't understand you guys. Wow. 500. Or they'll be like, yeah, we lost everything. Like, it's ridiculous. So they, so they never, like, had, like, decent winnings or at least sort of, like, um, I guess, matched their losses? No, hell no. It was just constant losing? losing constant losing, losing, and they would win, like, 200 bucks because they played nickel, their dime nickel machine. And they would think that 200 bucks was, like, their luck turning around, huh? Yeah, exactly. Like, now, oh, this is a good sign right here. Yeah, and it'd be like, you know, you didn't win, though. You lost, like, way more money, and then they'd be like... My dad still goes to the casino until this day. For reals? Yeah, and with my aunt. Wow. Damn. That's fucking crazy, dude. Thousands of dollars just lost, huh? Yeah. Bet they spent like ten grand or something, twelve grand. Over their lifetime? Yeah, I would think so. It's not even that much, but I would, I would think so because they play nickel machines. Yeah, it sounds like a lot. Your parents never did that, huh? They never went to the casino or anything like that. <sighs> well, they're poor right now, so <laughs> I would say they did some sort of gambling in their life that didn't pay <laughs> off for them. If it wasn't physically gambling, if it wasn't actual gambling, they did some sort of gambling. Like in terms of how they handled their life, and they were old snake yeah. guys. They were old snake eyes. Is snake eyes good or bad? Is it? I don't know. I don't know. Domino, you know that blank one? Is that uh-huh. one good or bad? I don't know. Black people won't tell us how to play. Black people. <laughs> <laughs> get here! They just grab all their dominoes. <laughs> get here! They're like, you fucking dumb idiot, white people. You guys just stack them up and knock them down, but you don't actually know how to play domino. I actually, I actually want to go now to. Cause have you ever been to a casino yourself? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You lost? I didn't play. I just went to drink. Uh-huh. Yeah. I didn't, and I went to buf- the, buf- the buffet. Is it depressing there, or is it like <clears throat> everything's fucking jiving, and people are throwing up chips in the air, and you got girls in fucking, uh, like, no, that's shiny dresses, and they have, like, these fucking feather scarves around their neck. No, they have, like, peacock feathers. Uh, they, have, like, a, like, they have, like, a fox skin draped over their shoulders and stuff. Yeah, and then you're, like, at the table, and everyone's cheering around you, yeah, and you roll, like, like, a thing, and they're like, yeah, and you win, and you, like, kiss the fucking hot chick. <laughs> and you, you just take... bend her over. No, it's just old, depressing-ass people that are really out of shape smoking cigarettes. Like, it just smells like smoke. Everywhere you go, smoke, and then uh, it's just old ass people sitting in the, at the dime machines, like. Depressing. And all you hear is like just off distance cops on. <coughs> ding, ding. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. <coughs> it's depressing. It's really depressing, and then uh, I don't know. I guess the drinking's cool. Uh huh. But I mean, you can drink anywhere. Yeah, but was it free though? <laughs> no, I had to pay for it. Yeah, was it expensive? I don't think so. I think it was like three bucks for a one Corona. That's pretty expensive, huh? Mm, nah. That's about right. Nah, not not Coronas when you're getting them like at at a place. That's pretty cheap. Is he taking a piss? <laughs> That's the gonorrhea talking. That's the gonorrhea. Yeah. <laughs> the syphilis is going to his head. Right. What else? What are the what are the things? Uh, you let's talk about your fucking your you racing your boss. Oh, uh, okay. I was cheated today. It was a. Uh, it was a terrible day in history. So, <clears throat> we were all talking, right? And we're, they were saying like, oh yeah, I'm fast, I'm fast. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, like well, let's go race right now. Let's go race. And they're like, all right, loser has to buy lunch for everybody. And I was like, all right, let's do it, let's do it. And I was like, I could beat them easy, you know? They're older, they're like 35, the other one's like 36. One of them's just old, he's like 60 something. He didn't race though. <laughs> yeah, I was like, all right, so we go outside, right? I was so, they're like, first one to reach the door wins. And I was like, all right, let's do it. And then like, so we gave all our stuff to the old man and then um, we're like, ready? We all got on the line and then the old man counted to three. Dude, he's like one, two, three. And I exploded so hard that like, I left him in the dust so hard. But then my other co-worker, he was like tying his shoes. So he was like, oh, wait, wait. 
Gals were gone. Like, I hella dusted him. And then, uh, man, but after that, like, everything fired off in my body. Like, cramps everywhere. Like, my ankle hurt. Like, I was limping back. That's how, uh, like, much. It's like I used my body too much. And then, uh, I was like, man, you guys suck or whatever. And then, they're like, let's do it again. Let's do it again. And I was like, oh, man, all right. I guess I will then. I, I could beat them. So then we did it again the second time. You should. I think I at that point up. you should have removed articles of your clothing <laughs> to like lose weight, like on Dragon Ball Z. You know how they take off their fucking uh, clothing and it's like with his uh, five ton uh, vest. Yeah, you should have did that. Or at least ask for a break. Why? Why'd you feel pressured to like do it right then and there? If he took his time, he was like fucking tying well, his shoes. Yeah, I don't know, cause I guess I I was like cramping a little bit, like everything ripped in my body, and then I was like, all right, fuck it, like I'll beat them. Little did I know, we did it again, and like man, my takeoff was terrible. Like my body was just like wiped out from that first one. Mm-hmm. So then like my boss, I was he took off pretty fast, and then like we were neck and neck, and then uh, but I started cramping, so I had to run just enough so that I didn't cramp. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, you like when hard. you reach, like, the finish line, where you're, like, hopping on one leg, or you're, like, that bad? Um, both my shoulders cramped, and then my hips cramped. <laughs> yeah. I'm running? I was, like, I was booking it, and, uh, it was so fucking funny, because I looked back, and then my boss, like, he was going so fast that he fell forward, and he fell, he went straight into the door. It was so, he scraped <laughs> up his knees, and I, was, and I was laughing so hard, but I was, like, in pain. <laughs> like you lost, you lost, and I was like, man, that doesn't count. Like you guys got me when I was all fucked up already. But and then, uh, so then I took them out to lunch. But it wasn't because they beat me; it's because uh, they always buy me food all the Where time. Where did you guys go to eat? Went to Lin's Fusion uh, buffet. It was pretty good. You must have spent a pretty penny. Gosh damn! Yeah, it was like fifty-two bucks for how many people? Four, four, four people. Fifty-two bucks? Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's pretty. Good. Yeah, that's it's pretty eleven good. bucks yeah. each. It's good. I'm gonna go back there. Speaking of races, have you guys ever raced someone in a car? I race all the time. Yeah? Yeah. Who like, you race his phone to take a shit after work? Only if I have diarrhea. No, I race, uh, one time I raced my coworker um, from the job I work at right now. And so it was going down King's Canyon, uh, like hitting uh, Chestnut or whatever. Dude, I hit like 90 easily. On the normal street? On the normal street, dude. Fuck. Yeah, dude. And it, was, it was fucking scary because when I, I passed uh, this restaurant, Castillo's, there's literally like a whole bunch <laughs> of cops Castillo's. taking their lunch break. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure they probably saw us like drive by. And they're like, like in the restaurant. They're probably just like, man. Fuck it. Fuck these I'm guys. I'm eating. Yeah. Well, I believe that don't because. Don't bother me. I'm eating. <laughs> it was a car with you in your head. Every time we leave and we go the same direction, I see you purposely speeding up. To look at me, and then you pass me up, and I'm going 50 in a 40, 45. You're not going 50, cause I'm going 50. No, I'm going 50. <laughs> you're going to fucking slow ass. No, then you're I'm at least your car is going to 40. I'm but your speed armor saying 50. There's no point in driving that fast. I'm I I don't think you ever drive that fast ever, unless you're trying to impress someone. I saw your picture on Facebook, and you put your dude, shit your over fucking your shit would fly off your car. Your paint would just come off your car all your. Okay. <laughs> I can't afford a ticket right now. I got, got a lot of bills. Have you ever gotten a ticket? No. Not dude, a you you would get like a thousand dollar tickets for um for littering, dude, because pieces of your car would just fly off going that fast. Yeah, sure. <laughs> You're gonna get a thousand dollar ticket for driving that piece of shit. 